we're going to talk about a little product that some of you have heard about called the PlayStation 5. Um, a few stats. All the companies, like their fiscal years or quarter, their quarters just ended. You know, Microsoft, Xbox, and PlayStation, blah, 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 all that shit. I'm not getting into all the console war shit, but they just released, like, stats. Uh, Microsoft released theirs, and they're doing well uh, with their Xbox division. Some things were down, but everybody's down right now because pandemic, everything spiked way up, and they had a console launches. Both companies did and all that, and everything was through the roof. So right now, first quarter of the year, there are slight it's not about is it going to be under last year they know it is all the companies do but it's how low is it going to be and apparently microsoft is doing fine they were doing decent and they had uh, some minor jumps here or there but some things were down plus chip shortages and all that uh ps4 or i'm sorry ps5 uh same situation but here's the thing sony's not microsoft unfortunately when it comes to finances so uh, the PlayStation 5 is down from PS4 sales at the same time in its life, si life cycle. Now, up to this point, it was above. They were saying, oh, it's outselling the PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 was a very popular console. One of the most popular, if not the, I think the PlayStation 2 was the most popular console ever as far as sales. I could be wrong, but PlayStation 4 did very well. Sold very well. Microsoft screwed the pooch that generation and just handed it over to them. So it did very well. And it was kind of impressive to hear that even during this chip shortage that the PlayStation 5 was selling uh, above or at least on par with the PS4 up to this point. This quarter, though, it is down. They are no longer keeping up with what the PlayStation 4 was doing at the same time in its life cycle. Uh, they had higher forecasts for what they were going to sell for, the, I guess, the year. They've adjusted their forecast. They, they lowered some of their forecasts. I get that, too. Chip shortages, all that. They're not able to produce as many consoles. You can't sell what you ain't got. Uh, Sony management declined to comment. Oh, yeah, this, this is the part that I find interesting. Uh, this is like an earner, earnings call. And somebody asked, hey, I don't know if this is off the backs of, of Facebook raising the price of the Quest or not. Apparently, Sony was talking about, you know, price of these chips is crazy. We're losing money. They're selling a bunch of them, but they're losing money. So someone asked the question, and Sony management declined to comment on the possibility of raising the price of the PlayStation 5 due to the ongoing chip shortages and other factors. This would be uncharted territory. I'm sorry, this wouldn't be uncharted territory for the company as it recently raised prices, at least for some of its devices like headphone speakers and cameras. Uh, one of the executives was quoted in saying about a potential price increase for the PS5. At this point in time, there's nothing specific I can share with you about the prices. All right, so you're saying to yourself, they didn't say they're raising the price. What are you talking about? Yeah, but they didn't say they're not either. And that's fucking crazy. No console has ever come out and gone up in price without having some new ver pro version or something like that. Because I feel like that would be one of the first things. I know that these companies don't like to like comment on rumors and stuff like this. This is a fucking earnings call. And somebody's like, hey, you think you're going to raise the price of this thing? Unprecedented territory, right? That seems like one that a company would be more than willing to and easily say, no, I mean, are you crazy? We wouldn't do that. That'd be suicide. No, they said, we don't have anything to share right now on that specific, on the, the price point. That's fucking scary if you're interested in getting a PS5. Because that means... Not saying that they will raise the price, but it means that they're open to it. They have at least talked about it. It's out there. You know I mean, <laughs> or they would have just been like, "No," because that's a, that's not. When is this coming out? When is this happening? When is that? That's a. No one would be surprised if they were like, "Hell no," because I don't think anybody was thinking this until it got asked. Because they were talking about how much it cost, and they've raised the price on other devices that they they offer within the company. So, yeah, I'm guess I'm curious. Because I'm not saying that Sony's not doing well. They are still the market leader this generation. Well, not the market. Nintendo is. But they're the market leader between the big two, Microsoft and Sony. But they've lost a tremendous amount of ground because Microsoft is slowly coming back up. And they say that within a year, maybe even less, they'll be head-to-head -head in sales. Because they started with quite a, a, a lead in the sales department, mm -hmm. but Microsoft has been quickly catching up, which means they're selling more, which they are, and Sony is selling less. They're, they're both still selling, and they're selling out. You can't buy either of these consoles anywhere. 
You can buy a Series S. That's it. But you can't buy a, an X or a PS5 or a digital PS5, any of that, anywhere. So they're still selling out, and they're doing fine in that regard. But they're bleeding money. Microsoft has shown that we'll bleed money. We'll bleed money to win, and we'll bleed money to get to where we need to be so we can make more money later on. Sony just doesn't have the money to do that to that same degree. They got lots of money. Sony's a big company. But I am curious as to what you think. Do you think that they will raise the price, or do you think that there is a possibility that they'll raise the price of the PS5? And if they do... What do you do? You think it'll just be a a well? People will bitch and moan, and then they'll still buy it. Or do you think this could be another PS3, Xbox 360 generation kind of thing? Um, I think at this point, people are willing to pay whatever <laughs> for the PS5. Um, people want it, you can't get it, like you said. <laughs> I think it is a little bit easier to get now than it used to be. But it's the thing, that the secret weapon, or not really secret, but the weapon that Xbox has is Game Pass, which you can play on everything. And PlayStation is slow to catch up. You have to have a PS5 or wait, you know, two years to get like a version of the game on PC. And Game Pass is like, or Xbox is like, hey, you want to play one of our new games? It'll be on day one on Game Pass. You can play it anywhere you want to, and you don't even need a console. That's what that's what yeah. the difference between Sony and Xbox is. Is Xbox and they own a lot of companies consumer. now. Yeah. And all the companies, yeah. especially when they own Activision, which could be real soon that that deal could actually go through, but it'll definitely be within within the next year. Yeah. All those Activision games, Call of Duties and all that, you can play them anywhere, I guess, they're saying possibly, but you can play them for free here. Well, f- within your subscription. Yeah. So I agree with you. Now, just to interject real quick, Sony does have their version version of Game Pass now. Play, it's It's really convoluted. It's uh, PlayStation Plus or something. I don't know. They they rename some stuff. They put some stuff together. There's tiers and all that. It's confusing. I, I'm sure it's not that confusing, but the, it's it's a bit more confusing. They have a version of it, but it doesn't. It has lots of games well, you can play, but I they pay don't just have like the day ones and all that. Why can't I pay like ten bucks a month? Get what Game Pass does for PlayStation. I, I'd be, I'd be glad to give them ten bucks a month. That be able to play all the PlayStation new games on PC. And I think that I they do have, have to... a ten dollar a month tier. There's three tiers. I know that there's mm-hmm. the there's one that's around ten bucks, and it goes like fifteen, mm-hmm. and then twenty or something like that. And each tier gets more stuff. And I'm like, don't you ever have a console to play it though? Yeah, uh, I think so. I think that that I, I, it does not work on like uh, I don't think that because they don't have their own online store. Like yeah. with Game Pass, that goes through the Windows Store, the micro, the the Microsoft Store, or whatever. You could buy them but, on Steam, but it doesn't go through Steam, even though they've talked about partnering with Steam in some way. That's not a th- mm-hmm. reality right now. But no, I don't think that you get any of the PC benefits. It's all console. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Like, I can we can go on Game Pass and play Flight Simulator or whatever Xbox decides. Gears of War ninety five. You know, it's just. <clears throat> I don't know the the raising the back to the raising the price. I the, if they do it, it'd be kind of stupid. But you know, the, they can't keep consoles in stock, so what are they going to do? You know. Well, yeah, I I, I think I was surprised. I I think that they originally. I am. I would bet money they originally, and we'll never know, wanted that console or mm. planned on releasing that console at a higher amount. But yeah. if anybody remembers back to when the price and naming and all that shit was going on with these two consoles, because their prices and naming and versions all came out like within a week of each other or something like that, it was like a waiting game. We we knew that these were both coming out in November, and I don't think we got prices or specifically what they were going to be until <clears throat> September, I think it was, something like that, middle middle of September, and it was a leak which may or may not have been done by Microsoft, but they were they they were waiting out to see what the other company was going to do. Because I think Microsoft clearly was like, we're going to undercut you. They wanted to undercut. They wanted PlayStation to come out and say 600 Because a lot of people were talking about six or $700 for the PS5 originally. And I am not... I, $700, I don't know, but I could totally see them, because the damn thing costs $500 now, MSRB. But I could see them saying $600 for the new mac daddy playstation 5 and then the digital like 500 or something like that but then microsoft you know leaked out that oh ours is going to be 500 and 200 i believe 250 or whatever with 300 mm-hmm. yeah it's 500 and 300 and uh 
then like within a day, like a couple of days, they released theirs at the same, well, their top model at the same price point. I guarantee they wanted that thing to be more, but they're not dumb. They saw what happened with the PS3. They released it at that crazy price of the time. Yeah. And they got their heads caved in by the 360. There's other issues too, but they the, they got beat for the majority of that, even though in the end some people say, oh, worldwide sales by the end, they outsold them by like 2 million units or something like that. Okay, because they, they're always going to, well, actually they've been getting outsold in Japan here recently, but <clears throat> whether that's stock or not, but... Either way, they had Japan. They had some other areas where they were getting that. And they did improve over time, over over that generation. But for the majority of that generation, that was the 360 generation. Microsoft had that one in the bag. Even though they didn't technically win it sales-wise, they had that. They Most people consider that their win that generation. And I think that yeah. they knew that if we did that again... It would with all the good press Microsoft was getting leading up to that thing, they wouldn't have it wouldn't have turned out well. Me myself personally, I think if they raise the price of this fucking thing, you're right that people are paying crazy amounts for it right now. So yeah, people are kind of used to it, but there's a lot of people that aren't buying one because it costs these crazy amounts of money. Are people willing to pay that much for it? Maybe. But let's look at a world in a year, six months, whenever it is that all this trash is done. And consoles are on store shelves. They're just sitting there. And they're sitting there with a PS5 that costs $550 or $600. And then you got an Xbox Series X. Because these consoles are, let's be real, they are. Mine's more powerful than your Fuck off. They're, they're pretty much the fucking same, okay? They both have their pros and yeah, their they're cons. They're PCs, basically, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're both very similar. They play a lot of the same games. You got them sitting there next to each other. One is $50 to $100 less than the other and they're more or less comparable people are going a lot more people are going to start flocking the other way it will be suicide for them to do that in my opinion because at the end of the fucking day the almighty dollar is what rules the world people are going to buy what unless it's a situation to where your thing that costs a little bit more is so much better but it's not they're both pretty equal you could say the Xbox is more powerful. The PS5 has more of a exclusives and 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 uh, magical S SSD. You know, none of that fucking shit matters. Look at the fucking games. Most people cannot tell a difference because there's not much of a difference. Yep. So raising the price, I think, will be uh, fucking stupid. And it is kind of scary that with these comments, they are more or less saying, not saying we will, but we're open to it. We want to. We're just trying to figure out how bad will the fallout be if we do, and will people still pay it. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Just something to think about, I think. Uh, so, if you're in the market for a PlayStation 5, be prepared. It may go up. They're at least open to it. I'll tell you that much. But we'll see. 